music. It's all around us. It's in nature. It's in the objects that vibrate around us. It's in every perceivable thing upon this planet Earth. And there are obviously more obvious examples of where music is too. But how many of us actually sit down and really, or stand up, and really listen to it? I personally remember, you know, as a child, some of my most special moments were just escaping into the music of any particular artist. We had, uh, I think, CD Walkmans were the thing at the time. Also, I remember having a, a cassette tape player. And I would just sit and I would put on music and I would just uh, kind of dissolve into that musical landscape. And that was what I would call listening. It seems that music has become this thing to have on in the background or, or something to do something else to rather than be the focus of of the the mind itself rather than be the focus of of your happiness rather than be the focus of your attention rather than saying you know what i'm going to go and listen to some music now it i what i see more of in the world is i'll oh, just put some music on while I'm, I'm doing this that or the other when i'm you know pumping some iron or washing washing the dishes or you know going for a bike ride but what does it mean to truly listen to music and what can that do for you in terms of uh, an activity what can that do for you i think that's that's the important question and the important thing is to just go and listen to music to make that your sole activity one of the reasons why i stopped um, playing in bars um, was was for, for for this very reason, I think this this notion that music is something that's just in the background. So uh, I used to find that a little bit uh, a little bit often <laughs> quite um, in a big way, quite soul soul destroying. I used to come back very tired and feeling well. What did I just do there? <laughs> and there'd always there'd always be a few people at the end of of a of me playing it was never a performance it was just um functional again functional but there'd be a few few people every now and again that would sort of walk out shaking their heads and whisper in my ear sorry they actually fe <laughs> they actually felt sorry for me i felt sorry for me so i i decided to stop that and um that's that's one of the main reasons why I don't I don't play in those kind of environments anymore, you know. I uh, and I, I arrange proper concerts where people come and and the focus of the evening is actually the music, because otherwise why am I here? You know, as a musician, I don't want to just serve a functional purpose. I want to enrich or or offer up some kind of experience experience that people can take away and, and feel better for having partaken in. And this leads me to my next point. When a musician or a group of musicians are um, performing, whether it's on a recording or whether it's live, they are actually expressing themselves from a, from a very deep place. They are actually bearing their soul to you in, in some way shape or form so when you listen to that and when you truly listen to that you are sharing in that experience and it's a very intimate connection that you can have you're actually sharing in somebody's story or at least the story that they're telling at that time but here's the thing the story that they're telling at that time has come about through a cumulative experience being a human being or perhaps being something more than a human being. So to to be able to really listen to music and share that connection is is uh, truly profound and amazing. And that's why um, you can come out from listening to a piece of music um, feeling elated or feeling like you understand something. You it might not even be. Uh, quite clear what it is you've 
you've understood but you have this feeling of feeling better or or having shared something you know how they say uh, when you share your problems or something like this um, a problem shared is a problem halved and all that okay well that's just one thing let's let's not let's not stay with problems too much because that's a bit gloomy but music can elate so you know life is hard it's hard for all of us here on planet earth so music is a great source of of enrichment and enjoyment uh, a great source of being able to understand the universe and get through um, this topsy-turvy human existence that we're we're all experiencing then on a much more obvious kind of a level you've got all the the sounds and the colors and the tastes and the timbres of music which unless you're really listening to it you don't really experience fully as an analogy perhaps you are sitting up on a, a let's say a beautiful mountain looking out onto a vast breathtaking landscape only you're not <laughs> you're not looking out onto it you're too busy on your smartphone taking selfies of yourself and uh, giving people thumbs up to, to to even notice what what's going on there so you're not experiencing the actual experience um, with it with any clarity or any observation so you're not taking any of it in so the, the just the sounds and the colors and the tastes of music when you really fully experience and are connected to them you know they can make you feel all kinds of all kinds of things you know it sounds good yeah, basically it sounds good so enjoy the sound just like it tastes good so enjoy the taste if a top uh, chef puts uh, you know his best bowl of soup in front of you and you're slurping it whilst uh, not really being present you know not really experiencing the flavors that are in that soup it's it's the same thing okay that's a lot of analogies now <laughs> but yeah the tastes the timbres the the textures of music are all there to be enjoyed and if you've just got um, music on in the background or you're doing something else you've got some other kind of physical noise going running over the top of that some other thing going on then you're not you're not really being with that and able to enjoy that either I've heard people say to me before I want to get back into listening to music and I think the important thing is because we live in a world of, of so many distractions is that if you're going to do that I mean do just that you know put everything else aside and just make some time you know get a bit cozy and and put some music on and just be there be present and be with that experience be with those people that have made that recording and share that experience with them and see what it brings up see how it makes you feel yeah that's that's why we have music on planet earth so to wrap things up if you want to get back into listening to music again listening in bold italics then <laughs> let music be your friend you know don't let it play second fiddle to uh, something else you know be with it and if you're listening to music on a device which has a screen turn the screen away from you and just close your eyes and get lost in the world and enjoy it let music do for you what it wants to do for you 